Hi, I'm Ariana with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are you guys? Hey, good. Good. How are you good. doing? Pretty good. So both of your characters are involved with women who say they don't want you guys, but they're actually <laughs> don't really match with what they're saying. Why don't you think they just can't let them go? Each party. First of all, why do you have to come so strong like that? That <laughs> that that question hurt. <laughs> you both with women who don't want you, who, who say they don't want you. What's you, up with that? You ain't shit. You know you ain't shit, right? Right. I was like, damn. Oh, oh my feelings. Uh, well, the answer is because Jason and Ola are super dope and good dudes. Yeah, yeah. That's and they, it. And they and they know that in their heart of hearts. Yeah, I mean, in truth, in truth, like there's a little bit of you know nice guys finish last in there like i'm a pretty nice guy i mean i i didn't do what you did like <laughs> i didn't take money from a girl like like ola was really you know just there for her there for her in all of her anxieties her premarital you know stresses uh stress from her mom uh he was consistent he was the rock but you know sometimes nice guys finish last and and that's cold blood and there's really no way around it you know, sometimes people want spark and all this excitement and all this and that. They don't realize consistency is what breeds a mature relationship. That sometimes we take advantage, take for granted uh -huh. the most important parts of our life, the most re important relationships in our lives. Okay, brother, preach. I'm just saying, and you're getting me all hyped up. Sometimes we take advantage <laughs> of, of the people who show us the most love mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. give them back spite. This is fact. Just because we're looking for excitement and we think that our partner is supposed to entertain us rather than just be a balm, mm. uh, a, a calming entity. Mm, no, they want me to be a roller coaster ride. Mm. How am I supposed to do all that? You want me to be stable and all over the place? My God. I'm just one man. Let me what give you the security you need. <laughs> what advice would you give Ola and Jason if they were your friends and going through the same Leave. thing? <laughs> Leave. Leave. <laughs> Out. <No. laughs> go. Go where you uh, want it. No. Uh, listen, love is, is stronger sometimes than your principles. And sometimes you have to reconcile with what's uh, logical, with, with what the heart wants. And... Yeah, they just have reconciling to do. And honestly, I don't know how it's going to end up. Uh, figure out what's important to you and act like it. Damn, that's real. <laughs> that's real. That's the advice I would give Jason. I agree completely. <laughs> um, the show is a lot about dating and kind of the issues that um, all genders go through with dating. What would you say is probably the hardest challenge that your character has to go through other than their exes? Uh, for Jason, certainly being in love with the woman who says that she wants nothing to do with him. Mm -hmm. That's a challenge, <laughs> you know, just starting a new career, trying to make things work, make things happen, and you're just heartbroken every night yeah dreaming of that person that you can't have that's tough that ain't easy why you paint such a good picture that was <laughs> that was sad it's real uh yeah i think ola you know obviously he needs to work on forgiving her but i think the internal side of it is he he does have to ask himself why he's so stubborn on certain things why is he so um uh, yeah un are his principles, quote unquote, just getting in the way of what's going to be best for him, you know? But should he forgive her? If it was right before their wedding. I'm not saying he should. I'm just saying there's some soul searching, right? Like he can forgive her, but he's got to search his soul for what matters most. And uh, that's a complicated question because a lot of people I don't think really, really know what they need and really, really know what matters most to them. So he's got to figure that out. That's awesome. Maybe Jason could help him out. You guys don't have that many scenes together. I feel like a lot of growth could happen if you guys just talk to each other. <laughs> when we but, do talk, I feel like it's pretty valuable. I, yeah. feel, like, I feel like we, yeah. we exchange some knowledge. Yeah, this season we explore a little bit more of that brotherhood, yeah. the, the other side of all the sisterhood that's being showcased. You know, we're seeing what, what happens when boys confide in each other and, and stuff like that. And so so we do we get we get a little bit more in there. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate it. This was such a fun interview. Congrats on this show and hope to talk to you about future projects. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you.